But here's another event that I'm going to talk to you about that frustrates us very badly. It's young men and women dying. And they're dying because other young men and women are shooting them. And on this particular occasion, some folks from the Orlando area rented an Airbnb, and they rented this Airbnb at 308 Robin Road in Davenport, which is right at the county line of Osceola and Polk County. They rented this house in order to have a birthday party for a one-year-old child, and they invited friends and family over. And this is the development that this house is in. So the family arrives Friday night. They work all through Saturday morning to get ready for the party. And at about 3 p.m. On, on Saturday afternoon, the party begins. Well, that's reasonable. Well, about 11 o'clock at night, our victim one, as we will call him, he is a black male, 27 years of age, a young man, not yet 30 years of age, still trying to figure life out, receives several phone calls. And then about 12.30, which would have been early Sunday morning, people are still there for the one-year-old's birthday party. I'm certain the one-year-old by this time has crashed. He's not interested in a party any longer. But he takes two plates of food out to this mid-size vehicle that's in the roadway. He apparently delivers the food, and I say apparently, and I'll tell you that in a minute, turns around and walks toward the house. And there is a volley of gunshots that rings out. He is knocked down from the gunfire. He jumps up and is now trying to get into the house when the suspects who have started to drive off back, back up. One of the suspects jumps out of the mid-sized vehicle and shoots another volley of rounds at suspect one, I mean victim one. Now understand that in the process of hearing the first volley of gunshots, victim two, who is a 26-year-old black female, she runs to the door, and as she's running to the door, she is shot through the door, and she's struck in the thigh, and the great news is that young lady is going to make a full recovery. She opens the door and they drag in victim one who has a multiple gunshot wounds and the vehicle flees from the neighborhood. When they get to the front of the neighborhood in the area of the entrance, they, we find two plates of discarded food. Now, all of that is a mystery to us. Did they not like the free meal? Was it served to them cold? Did they use that as a ruse to get him outside so that they could shoot and kill him? All of that's under investigation. They flee back toward the Orlando area. We have some video from stores that indicate that this vehicle has fled. We don't know who the suspects are. We know and, and highly suspect two suspects, a driver and the passenger who jumped out the second time to finish shooting. We know there are two different kinds of casings from two different firearms at the crime scene. But what's interesting to know is that this is all too often what we see young men dying, a young lady shot. Now, this was not the traditional house party that we normally see that ends up in a shooting. However, there were conversations between our apparent suspect and our victim, causing our victim to take two plates of food at 12.30 in the morning out to these folks and they subsequently shot and killed him. He died despite our best efforts and Polk Fire's best efforts to save his life at Osceola 
at a Osceola hospital. So we need the community's help. We're paying $5,000 cash money through Crime Stoppers. You don't have to get involved. You don't have to give us your name. Just give us the information, and we too will put you in for the five grand and we'll solve this murder. We owe it to the family. We owe it to their mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters. And we're going to work diligently until we find out who murdered these people. But make no mistake about it, it is not the first time someone has come from the Orlando area to the northeast area, I-4, 27, Point Siena, Davenport area, to rent an Airbnb to ultimately become the victim of a murder. And we're pretty well tired of it. We were tired of it when it happened the first time, and it's happen happening periodically. So at the end of the day, it's not all right for young kids to kill young kids, and we're not going to allow that. We're going to find who these people are and hold them accountable, accountable for that, and that's important because no one has the right to kill or shoot someone else. Now, by the grace of God, the one-year-old, who I suspect by this time was tucked away in bed, s survived all of this without any gunshots. However, we had an, a recent one, I say recent within the last year. It didn't happen at that time at an Airbnb, but it was kids shooting kids, where two teenage girls were in bed asleep when some gangbangers went to shoot up what they thought was the rival's house. They got the wrong house and shot two teenage girls. And then 15 minutes later, they shot up another house and shot up another teenage girl. Now you think, oh my gosh, what's happening in Polk County? Newsflash, that's happening all across the state of Florida and all across the United States of America. We've got to respect life. We've got to respect the dignity of life. And I can assure you of one thing, that if you come here and shoot someone, we will chase you to the ends of the earth until we get you locked up in jail. You're not going to kill people in this county and get away with it.